Hi, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, let's work on some backward rolls. So for the backward roll, it's important to use your arms. So make sure you have your hands beside your ears with your palms facing towards the back and elbows out in the front. It's very much like a bridge. When you lay down, your hands are beside your ears. When you do your backward rolls, make sure you use your arms and push using your arm strength. That way you don't put too much pressure on your neck. And first let's start off with uh, the backward roll in a sitting position. So tuck your knees in nice and tight. You're going to round your back, tuck your chin down, and get your hands ready behind you. And we'll do five rocking rolls. When you rock backwards, make sure you feel your hands pushing uh, against the ground. So now this time we're going to rock backwards and touch our toes above our head. Let's do five of these. Okay, when you do your backward roll, you can shoot your feet back above your head to stand up or it's probably easier if you touch your toes on the floor above your head and then you stand up. Um, even though we're doing only five uh, of each exercise or uh, progression skills, you can always pause the video and maybe do five more for a total of ten. So this time I'm going to roll backwards and shoot my feet up and back and finish in a standing position. Backward rolls are harder from a sitting position, so it's going to help make it easier if you lean back and rock really hard, really fast. So now I'm going to do a backward roll with my toes uh, touching the floor above my head. So those are backward rolls from a sitting position. Um, to make it easier, you can always start in a squat. Everything uh, that we've done so far still applies. Make sure you put your hands beside your ears, use your arms, and then rock back or lean back fast. Stand up on your feet and finish in a nice stretch. So remember when you're doing your backward rolls to round your back 
and tuck your chin down to your chest and push through the arms. So for the last backward roll, I'm going to touch my toes on the floor above my head. So when you're doing the backward roll from the squat, make sure you sit down on your heels and notice how my heels are above the ground. So you're balancing on the balls of your feet. Hands beside your ears, tuck your chin down, round your back, and lean back into your backward roll. So remember, um, for backward rolls, make sure you lay down in a nice soft mat. Please don't do this on a hard floor. If you don't do a mat, you can always try doing it on your bed or uh, maybe your parents' bed, grown-ups' bed if it's bigger. But uh, just make sure you have a nice soft surface to do your backward rolls on. Alright, have a great day and uh, check out our next skill.